Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a, an edit now based on a single adjustment and that is HSL. And it's exploring as well the things that you can do with just the HSL adjustments. So first of all, let's go in and do an HSL. An initial tip is to simply take the saturation and turn it all the way up. And the reason we're doing this, we're not going to keep this, but this is to show the colours. Where are the colours going? So we notice, for example, down here, see if we turn, take that back down again, you don't notice, but here there's a bunch of red flowers, which is rather nice. Make a good bit of foreground in that. There's, of course, the green of the fields here. The house here is orange. You know, sky, of course, a bit you know, blue, cyan, teal there. But notice also that the clouds here has got blue in them as well. So we could be very careful if we want to separate out those. So let's just turn that off so we can always bring it down again. In fact, actually, before we go, let's turn it on. We're going to use this to crop. So I'm going to crop here, come in here. And generally cropping, I just take the diagonal images here. So I take the diagonal from there and bring that in. So the flowers are in the foreground there. And I've got enough of a ratio here, the, of the aspect ratio. So let's include the rest of that tree there. That's okay. We'll go with that. So now this is our basic picture. So we're going to take off that there. We're going to go down here and put more in. And here we're going to use the shortcut keys for HSL, which is Control U. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to name them. So the first one here, I'm going to call Blue Sky, and you can see what it's going to be, what's going to happen. Then we can say clouds. Then house, and then flowers, and then greenery. So let's start off with blue sky. So we're just going to adjust this. We're going to turn off the top layer. We don't need that. And we're going to see if we can just boost this a bit. And what we're going to do is do a filter on it. So we're going to use any of these here. In fact, I'll just use the first one in each case so we don't have to wonder where we put it. So click on the picker and look here where it goes. Let's bring it up here so you can see. If I click here, multiple points in the blue sky, nothing moves very much. That means I've got a pretty good selection of this. We're using this here. In fact, what I can do as well, because I know that the clouds are going to be nearby. I'm going to kind of pull the edges of this in a bit. And in fact, you can turn up the saturation so you can see where this is. And you can try to move things here. So, for example, let's see where, see the, there the blue sky disappeared. So that's where we need to push things back. And just enough. So we just got enough to select the blue because it's quite a tight colouring. So it's only that bit there. That's all we need. But you can pull the edges out a little bit if you want to feather it to avoid any hard edges to this. Let's now go to clouds and we'll do the same sort of thing here. Oh, before that, sorry, let's go back to the blue sky. We need to turn the saturation down. We don't need that strong, do we? Okay, there we go. And the luminosity, when you turn the saturation up, usually you can be turning the luminosity down a bit, can help make it a just a little bit more realistic. So clouds again. Right, now then, click on just one of these, the first one again, get the picker, and click about in the clouds and see where this goes. And you can see it's actually a very similar area. So we're gonna have a very tight connection then between these two. So it was down here somewhere, so we need to push this up. And what I'm going to do is take the saturation down and I'm going to push this up here to just have the areas here. So I want to see the blue sky coming back in. And there it is. There's the blue sky and here. So now I've got pretty much the where the clouds are in here. So I can take that saturation down a bit on the clouds, maybe turn the luminosity up a bit, just to add a little bit of brightness around there. There we go. Right, now then, next is going to be the house. And now it was, you know, click on the picker again, same process, click around here, 
So it's pretty much in this area, which I expect might be the orangey thing. We're going to pull in the yellow bit and maybe the red a bit and turn up the saturation to see what we've got selected. Well, we've definitely got the end of that house there and this in here. What about that bit in here? Can we actually extend to pick up that? Is that going to go this way? No, maybe not. What about pushing this way a bit? Yeah, we're going to pick up more of that house in there, but in doing so, we're getting these this in here. So what we'll do is we'll click on the house here, Control I to invert it, and we'll do a paint back. So I want to paint in white, so I want to get to a paintbrush over here, click on white here, and then paint over the areas here to bring it back. At the moment, this is going to be quite saturated. It's OK because we're going to bring this back down again shortly. And where it's gone off the edge there, we just go to black and paint back there to the areas we don't want to include in this. I mean, going closer if you want to be a bit more accurate, but that'll do. So now with this, make sure I've got this one picked, pull down the saturation until it's something a bit nicer, a bit more light, and then play with the luminosity, maybe down a little bit. But in any of these, you can see you do before and after, see before and after. It's just lit up that a bit more. The flowers, I zoom in a bit closer to flowers to do this. Go to one of these and the picker and click in here, around here. And it's around that area, it's not too bad, is it? And We'll then turn up the saturation of those until it's pretty much looks like we got it pretty well selected there. And we'll bring it down a bit there so it's still a bit brighter. Do we need to turn the luminosity down? I'm not sure. So control zero to bring it out. Have a check around, see if anything else is kind of lit up. And I think that's okay. If necessary, of course, you could mask it as we did before. And finally, the greenery. And this should be pretty straightforward. Again, pick one here, click on the picker, and let's watch here and see here. It's not moving very much. There's a little bit of movement around. So you can perhaps move this up a bit here, bring a bit of the orange down from there. Uh, but keep, keep the yellow here. So we'll turn up the saturation to see what we've got selected. That's OK. Maybe bring down that orange to keep it out of the house. Now it's starting to pick things up there, so let's just have that there like that. And that's pretty much OK, but we're just going to take the black brush now and paint over the house to make sure it's not included in the house, because this is just wants to be for the greenery. There we go. Bits that were being picked up there. And so bring the saturation down to something uh, a bit more acceptable, not too bright, and luminosity down a bit to make it a bit more realistic and balance those out. So there we go. So if I select all those and I can just turn them all on and off, so before and after, before and after. Anyway, there we go. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.